612. It is a Wednesday morning, 2nd of February. Weather is what's really dominating discussions oh, yeah. after you probably didn't get much sleep last night. So hot and sticky. Next at the moment. I'll get an explanation <laughs> from the Bureau in about 10 minutes' time. Hey, Peter's called through on 1300 612. Morning to you, Peter. Good morning, Craig. Good morning, Loretta, my favourite two breakfast presenters. Oh, oh well, that's very nice? kind of you. You can call up any time, Peter. Hey, uh, we were talking about Ash Barty, uh, potential park to be named in her honour near the uh, tennis centre at Tennyson. But you want to tell us about the fact that there is a Brisbane tennis trail. I didn't know about this. Um, well, yes. Uh, it's one of the world's most unique tennis tourist attractions. Yeah. Uh, and it's been in development for the last eight or nine years, and as Nicole uh, rightly identified, there's the Ken Fletcher Park, uh, the man who brought um, Chuck Feeney to uh, Queensland, yep. the great philanthropist. Yep. Uh, there's Wendy Turnbull Green uh, at the old Milton Tennis Centre site, and her nickname was The Rabbit, so yep. very appropriate. Uh, and there's the Stefan Racket. It's about 20 things right throughout the whole of Brisbane, and there's also a Brisbane City Council webpage. Uh, that if you just Google Brisbane Tennis Trail, yeah. up will come amazing history. Peter, I'm looking and at that now. I didn't realise there was John Millman rebound wall at Carindale. And guess, <laughs> guess who unveiled that? Who? John Millman. <laughs> well, no, it was actually formally unveiled by the Lord Mayor Adrian Schooner. And Adrian uh, is a really keen supporter to identify and get the history of Brisbane Celebrated, yep. and in relation to Ash Barty, I've actually been talking via some very close friends to the management team, um, and so, and Adrian's sort of across what I've been doing because it was the Brisbane Tennis Trail is sort of my baby, mm. and um, yeah, uh, it's it is well and truly under consideration. I think Ash's natural inclination would probably be to see a more major um, celebration in Ipswich. Right. Uh, more hometown than uh, Brisbane, which is more of an adopted town. Mm. But in the tennis and ward, there is the um, Ken Fletcher Park. There's the Daphne Fancart Amphitheatre, a wonderful, wonderful lady. There's a bust of Ken Fletcher. Uh, and there is a rebound wall named after the doubles player of Rod Laver. And his name will come to me in a second. Oh, Jimmy Shepard. Um, Yes, that's it. Thank you so, much. so there's so and many. I didn't realise there were so many exactly, with this trail. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, the Lord Mayor's been there right through the whole... Uh Okay. Uh, well, okay. Peter, it's interesting, Peter. I've just done a search for Brisbane Tennis Trail as we've been chatting, and it puts them all on a map where you can see where these, uh, well, tributes are to great tennis players with a Brisbane connection. Thanks for telling us about it, Peter. Really appreciate it. On ABC Radio Brisbane at 19 to 7. I've just looked at one here in Morningside in Beverly Street, Brenda Dale Clubhouse. Now, Brenda Dale um, taught me... At school, she taught us at St. Rita's. I was in the tennis team there. Yeah. And she was uh, associated with the Queensland Community Lawn Tennis Association, which um, I was in the, the Queensland Catholic Lawn Tennis Association. That was a big event on Sundays, a big match as they play. But Brenda Dale, that's a name that, oh, it's just come back to me. And I remember her so well. Uh, Brisbane Tennis Trail. Do a search for that and you'll get more details.